so I got something pretty cool. Does anyone know what's in here? Binoculars. What are what are binoculars for? To spy on people. <laughs> you you can use them to spy on people, but I don't encourage it. <laughs> to see things that are far away up close, right? So what could you use to see? What would you use them for? Bird, that's a good example. Um, for a, like, a faraway place. A faraway place. What about like a sporting event or a concert? Like if you get the nosebleed section, you can use them to see up close to see what's going on. Binoculars remind me a lot about reading the Bible. We want to look closely at it. Often I love that very much. Often at times when we read the Bible, we read it because we feel like we have to or because we're told to. <laughs> but we never stop and read, read a verse so we can find out what it means or why God wrote it. The Bible is full of examples of how we should live. The stories in the Old Testament is more than just a history lesson. They're there to help us find out how to live each and every day and how to obey God in every situation. The New Testament is an amazing place to find God's promises and the message of the gospel is the best news in the world. With all these amazing books in the Bible, just think about what we can learn if we looked a little bit closer and spent a little bit more time reading and studying God's word. I'm going to put these up now. If we skim through the Bible, we won't learn what God is trying to teach us. If you're having a bad day, how can you discover a verse about joy without stopping to read the Bible? And you might be needing some advice. And how can God speak to you if you don't look closely and exam examine the examples God gave us in the Bible? So remember these binoculars and remember to take a closer look at the Bible. And don't read it just because you feel like you have to or because you're told to. Don't just skim the verses. Really look deep. God gave us the Bible as an instruction manual and he wants us to study it just like we would study books in school. You ready to pray? No. We're going to pray now. You ready to pray? Okay. God, we thank you so much for your Bible. We thank you for giving us examples of how to act and giving us words of advice. Your love is in there for us. Your grace is in there, Lord. And all we have to do is read it. Thank you for the instruction we need, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Wait, wait. Here's what we do. All right, guys. And you can go on back to the red doors.